if the person who you know you happen to love and want to be with happens to be the same sex and gender as you then i say god bless you and be in try to be happy as you can in this very difficult world jesus didn't tell you to oppress and misuse and mistreat gay people he told you to love ye one another so why are you oppressing gay people in the name of christianity well you're doing it because you fear people who are different from you you're a dualistic thinker and what do i mean by that you think that there's good guys who are all good and bad guys who are all bad and you think that there and you have a whole worldview that's just sort of very concrete and black and white and so that's why you and so you make your religion reflect your authoritarian uh top down uh worldview people who really know the scriptures you know you know god willing they'll pull up those scriptures that highlight connectivity highlight tolerance highlight how we're we're all in this thing together hopefully those people who really know scriptures will go to those scriptures that people use to oppress gays like Leviticus and others and show how they're being misapplied in this situation now how does this square with what i've ever been up with islam again it depends on whose understanding of islam you want to apply do you want to apply osama bin laden's understanding well he would completely and emphatically reject it right Do you want to imply Rumi's? Well, Rumi's been dead a long time and I don't can't speak for him, but I think that he would say I'm so unconcerned with that issue. Where is your spirit? Where do you love other people? Are you trying to help make make this world a better place for others? Are you trying to have a spiritual connection? Are you dissolving your ego such that you feel that, you know, uh that it's not your place to judge and condemn others? You know, from a faith standpoint, I believe freedom is essential and core. to my understanding of myself as a muslim if you look at the mission of muhammad to me the the core kernel of it is freedom muslims are no better and no worse than any other group of people we got narrow thinking people we got open minded people and uh that's the way that it is i mean i've had people who are muslim say brother keith we're very concerned uh that you uh believe in civil rights for gays and i'm like well you know how could i oppose civil rights for gays but stand for civil rights for you i can't do it it's inconsistent it doesn't make no sense i told them you know when i talk about islamophobia to members of congress and i talk to barney frank and tammy baldwin openly gay members of congress and say look this islamophobia is bad can you guys stand with me they say where do i sign so what do i say when they come to me and say you know this homophobia is is killing us literally can we do something about it will you stand with us and i say well i can only stand with you i have no other choice if i'm going to be anything approaching consistent it is in this world about love and connection and how in the world should the government ever take a stand against that so uh i'll say that um uh let's fight for equality Let's fight for people being treated the same by their government which we, which proclaims itself to be of by and for the people. Let's say that uh in America, no matter what happens in any other nation in this world, that uh we're all we're all equal before the law. And I think that's a wonderful thing to fight for and I'm honored to be on the side I'm on.